Hi folks, Baz a Garage Strongman. It's pull day today, but as per my program, um, it's meant to be a no deadlift day. So instead of the deads, I'm going to start with a little first go on my loadable shield Husafel stone that I made yesterday. Um, please check my other videos for how I made it if you want to copy it yourself. And if you've got any questions, please let me know. I've just, it's 13 kilos in later and I've put 50 inside, so this is 63. Um, and I'm gonna think about doing four lengths, which would be 60 meters. But you know, it could all go horribly wrong. I might not even be able to pick it up. Ish. That was a good estimate of my capabilities. Bit of a challenge. Okay, second and probably final run as it's starting to rain. This isn't treated or anything. Um, I put an extra 20 in now, so we're up to 83 kilos. We have 70 kilos inside my 13 kilo shield. And I'm just gonna go for two lengths now, so it'll be 30 meters. <coughs> and I'm gonna save two them around this time. Ah. Oh, that's good fun in a sort of cardio way. Okay, I've moved inside now for some, um, basically just going to do some reps picking the thing up. I've noticed it's a bit of a problem, the depth, because of my knees. They don't like going past um, 90 degrees. Um, they can do it, but they resist, and I end up getting quite a lot of pain because of my arthritis. But unless I build some sort of platform to pick it up off, I'm going to have to do some of these. So I'm going to see if I can modify that. Rather than squatting right down past 90, um, see if I can bend that a little bit and use a bit more of my back. I just want to play about there without obviously risking dropping the shield forward. So this is 70 inside, so it's 83 now. And I'm going to do a few reps just picking it up, playing about with the technique, and then add a few more um, discs and see what I can actually pick up just for, for picking up purposes. Okay, so I'm about 90 there. Really want to get down a bit lower and get your hands a bit lower around the shields, but it's not going to happen for me. So if I go 90 and then lift it, pick it up, lean it a bit, you're just biting your hands a little bit, your arms. Painful on the forearms there. I might puss out and put my stone sleeves on, just give me a bit of padding. So 
got these all things on there. Just want to, want to play a bit with the technique. Whether I'm going to have it in my hands there or more on the forearms, getting it up. Like I said, really, you want to get down low and just pick it straight up. But I'm having to lean it a bit to get it to use my back a bit more to save my knees. Um, let's have another go. This is 83. You can get it there. Oish. 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 Certainly an interesting lift. It's a lot of back there I'm using, which I guess most people wouldn't do. They'd be more squatting it. As I say, I'm almost turning into a bit of a deadlift. I'm very happy with that. I felt all right. Okay, I've put another 20 in now. I'm up to 103 kilos. Just going to do a single rep, I think. a problem. The weight shifted because they weren't packed tightly as I lent it, it wanted to fall forward. So I'm going to do some of those barbell rows now, Kayla Woolham style, which involves a little bit of kind of cheating if you like. But he's pretty awesome at the deadlift, so he must be doing something right. up on that a bit I think. Okay we're up to 100 kilos now. You might remember me saying I used to have problems with this exercise in the past. The traditional barbell row used to be more fixed um, and pulling a bit higher up sort of sternum that's how I learned it and I think some of my weakness there and just below the scapular area I used to get a bit of flexion in the spine which I didn't want used to cause me bother. Um, so this style, which I tried for the first time last week, is once you get kind of mid-shin, normal deadlift stance, get kind of mid-shin, and then you're kind of just giving a bit of an extension with the legs and pulling it into the belly button area a little bit more. It's a little bit more kind of dynamic, and I, I didn't have any bother with it last time, so I'm going to add it to my routine Um and see where we go. So we're increasing the weight a bit now, we're up to 100 kilos, which is, I've only ever done 70 last week and, and so far. So let's have a go. Important to get that set up, deadlift, normal deadlift set up. Yeah, it'd be interesting to see how that looked on, on playback because being a bit heavier now, I had to recruit a bit more. So I was getting that little bit of a drive with the legs, also getting the knees out of the way and ripping it in. This is a bit more cheating, if you like. Okay, so I did one more set of that. We managed seven reps, so that's about the weight I want for now while I get better at it. I'm just going to do a few sets on the reverse height bar and I'll be done. Uh, quite low weight on this, I've just been working it gradually so I've just got 30k on there now.
Okay, that's it for the day, folks. If you've enjoyed my session, please drop me a thumbs up and please subscribe for future Strongman content. I'm Baz Gary Strongman. See you soon.